right so the LED is on mm -hmm. all right yeah definitely So a few weeks ago, finally, I received a protocol spoon tech. So basically what this is, it has this electrode uh, sensor kind of thing on the bottom of the spoon. And apparently this actually enhanced the flavors of uh, sweet, salt, sour, uh, savory, and bitter taste. And um, it has some sort of like a tech behind it. So I just thought it would be quite interesting. It also says it's genius as a word written on it. Um, you're not supposed to actually put it on a microwave or at a dishwasher, but just light soap and that's how you actually rinse it and so on. It's actually, it comes with a letter that shows all the description. So um, it actually recommends that you try out a soup or yogurt to find out what's the difference. So um, it's a like a simple package and a very interesting product. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to compare it with a regular spoon um, and a this spoon and to see whether there's going to be a difference to see whether it actually says on the tin. So let's get on to the unpackaging and etc. So here it goes. All right. So before we unpack this whole thing, there's a simple instruction on the back saying that uh, you need to actually hold uh, this anti-strip uh, on the bottom of the handle to be able to see the difference and um, make sure the food is completely covers the emitter as you eat. The LED light will light up and indicate the technology is activated. So um, it's very likely that there's, oh, I can see that. So there's the LED here and that's the electrode. And on the bottom, I don't know whether you can see, there's this uh, thing that you press so apparently that's what how you activate it but it doesn't seem to have any charging capability here so i don't know how it works what will charge uh, the power and etc but anyhow um so let's get it out that's oh i thought the um it's genius is going to be attached to the spoon but it's a simplified version bit of a weight um, as you can see, there's this silvery bit that we talked about um, and so on. So let's see if the LED light will come on. So apparently, if you press that and you actually press this, so you can see the LED actually is flashing. So how do we charge it? Is it through the movement or? That's very interesting, isn't it? And the silver thing here, and that's sort of like the rubbery bit ends here and um, plastic obviously, but a relatively strong plastic. Uh, almost feels like an instant spoon, you know, those things that you use, um, one-off spoon that you use and you chuck it away kind of thing, but yeah. So as per the instruction, I got the low-fat Greek uh, style live yogurt here. So I'm gonna do the unpacking and let's actually try out the taste, shall we? So I hope that's not gonna burst with cream. That's good. Okay, so let's leave the lid for the time being. So the moment of truth, you actually dunk it in. And um, okay, so the Greek yogurt, let's taste it. Right. Well, it's just Greek yogurt. Okay, let's try out in a Regular spoon, shall we? Ah, oh, that's interesting actually. I, I actually did taste a bit of a sweetness on it. Let's try that again. That's weird. Okay. Oh, okay. So the, you got to make sure the LED light is on. Oh yeah. Okay. Somehow it's not on. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So. That's interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. Okay, this time it's almost the same. Okay, let's try one more time. 
bright so the LED is on. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I don't know how it works. I don't know how they did it, but there is a bit more sweetness into the taste when you actually use this spoon. That's very interesting. How, how did they do that? <laughs> so now what we have is a chunky minestrone and bacon soup. So let's try out with the, uh, the spoon tech, shall we? Okay, a bit sweet. Okay. Let's try out the regular soup. This is sweeter. <laughs> okay. I thought the, um, if it's salty, it will enhance it. So any salty or sweet or savory kind of things, it will be enhanced. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Regular spoon, metal spoon. Hmm. Okay, I think they're almost the same. Well, maybe actually the spoon tech make it taste it milder in some way. Let's try that again, actually. So make sure the LED light is on. Okay, and the regular spoon. Yeah, that's interesting. So, when I tried on with a um, the chunky minestrone and bacon soup, which is very tasty, the taste seems to be milder rather than enhanced, personally. Um, so, there you go. So basically, I wasn't 100% sure whether my taste buds are accurate or not, so I even asked my wife to try it out, and she also agreed that the soup might actually taste a bit milder than the original taste, um, whereas she kind of disagrees with the Greek yogurt tasting a bit sweeter, but I did uh, sense a bit of a sweetness added to it. So to be honest with you, if, it's, if it is going to take an effect, I think it's going to be like 5 or 10% of an enhance, uh, which is not bad at all. But what I'm more interested about is the fact that how this electrode uh, system works and how it's actually charged, is it through the movement? I would actually love to see what actually, how it works inside, the way how the LED actually lights up, it's pretty cool actually. Um, is it in a certain battery level? But we do, we do know that the LED light bulb itself, it doesn't really consume that much energy and so on. But regards to the overall results, I was actually, to be honest with you, slight, slightly disappointed. I was actually expecting more of an enhancement, but um, especially on the soup, whether we try the wrong soup, but then again, what are the right foods? What are the um, wrong foods to try out? Those need to be more clarified. I think it's just most, most of all is actually on your head whether you're actually thinking right. So I'm actually holding a very interesting spoon. I hope it will taste better and the LED light uh, bulb lights up. So that kind of gives you a bit of an effect in your brain thinking that, um, yeah, it's going to taste better kind of thing. But indeed, without any food and you actually, when you actually place your tongue on the electrode, the, um, I don't know whether this is the right uh, explanation, but I don't know whether you, when you were a kid, you're trying out with those um, AA batteries. You actually put your finger on the back and you taste it. You can actually feel the slight electricity going through. That's the almost the same sort of uh, feeling that you get when you actually try that out, which is very interesting. You know, while you pl place the finger or not, that sort of effect here. But actual food itself, I'm not sure whether it's actually um, taking effect, to be honest with you. but. I could have actually tried it in a wrong way. I, th I believe I have, but anyhow, that's my overall honest thoughts. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And especially Spoon Tech team, please correct me if I have configured something out uh, in a wrong way. So I could, yeah, I could try out 
in a right way if I have that is. So overall, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. All the best. Bye bye.